Zdravo! Welcome back to my channel. In today's video we are going to talk about the form would like to. Bisakal da. So to say politely what we want, we can use the form would like to or in Macedonian bisakal da. So this video will contain two parts. In the first part, we are going to see uh, how to use, how to make the form would like. And in the second part, we are going to see how to connect it with other verbs. Okay, let's start. To make this construction, first we need the L form of the verb saka. L form, yes, L form. So, we have from saka, it becomes sakal, the masculine form, sakala, the feminine form, sakalo, the neutral form, and sakale, the plural form. So, you have sakal, sakala, sakalo, sakale. In front of the l form of the verb saka, we are going to put the particle B. So B plus sakal, sakala, sakalo, sakale. So we have bisakal, bisakala, bisakalo, bisakale. Okay? B never changes, so it will always remain like B. It doesn't have any other shape, okay? So let's change this according to all the uh, persons, okay? Firstly, we have I would like jas bi sakal or jas bi sakala because I can be masculine, male or female, right? So we have jas bi sakal or jas bi sakala. Second person, you would like, second person singular, ti bi sakal or ti bi sakala. You would like, second person singular, okay? Third person, third person, he would like, will be toy bi sakal, toy bi sakal. She would like ta bi sakala, ta bi sakala. And it would like toa bi sakalo, toa bi sakalo. Let's go on with the plurals. We would like nie bi sakale nie bi sakale we would like so second person plural and also the formal way is vie bi sakale and which means you would like and third person plural they would like will be tie bi sakale okay so these are the forms for example, in English also we can say I want some coffee, ja sakam kafe in Macedonian. But if I want to be more polite, I can use the form I would like some coffee. So in Macedonian we can use the form ja sakala kafe because I'm a female. But if I was a boy, if I was a male, I would say ja sakal kafe. Uh, for second person also. Ti bi sakala kafe. You would like if uh, the person I'm referring to is a female. And if it's a male, I would say ti bi sakal kafe. So for third person also. Toi bi sakal kafe. Instead of toi, I can use Martin or some other ma uh, male name. So Martin bi sakal kafe. Martin would like some coffee. Uh, ta bi sakala kafe, she would like some coffee, but instead of she, instead of ta, I can say Sanya bi sakala kafe. So Sanya would like some coffee. And also for the plurals, nie bi sakale kafe, we would like some coffee. Or you would like some coffee, like plural, second person plural, vie bi sakale kafe. And third person, they would like tie bi sakale kafe. I can use, for example, the students instead of T 
tie instead of they. So I could say studentite, I have to put the article right on the uh, subject. So studentite, student becomes studenti because plural and then studentite. Bisakale cafe. Studentite bisakale cafe. Very good. In this part, we are going to talk about a different situation. If we want to put another verb to the uh, construction, like uh, I would like to do something, I would like to go, I would like to come, I would like to drink or whatever. So to make this form, we need da. We are going to put da after the bisakal form. Okay, so. Jas bisakal, bisakala da, ti bisakal, bisakala da, etc. And after da, we are going to use the verb that we need. Okay? And now we have something to be cautious about here. That's the uh, imperfective and the perfective shapes of the verbs in Macedonian, remember? So uh, we have two shapes of the verbs, two aspects. The first one is the imperfective and the second one is the perfective. So we have to be careful which one we are going to use and it depends on what we are trying to say. Okay, so let's say uh, I would like to come. I would like to come. How to say this in Macedonian? We are going to change it according to all of the persons. But first, uh, I would like to come. Yes. Bisakala, because I'm a female, once again, so yas uh, bisakala da, and afterwards I have to use the verb to come, come. Come in Macedonian is doja, and the perfective shape is doide. Which sentence is yas bisakala da doidam, meaning I would like to come. Yas changed doide into doidam. Why? Because after da we have to use present here. Okay, so bisakala da doidam. Doidam. Doide changed according to the present tense. Okay? Let's go on with the other persons. You would like to come. Ti bisakal or bisakala da doidesh. He would like to come. Toi bisakal da doide. Or Marco would like to come. Marco bisakal da doide. She would like to come. Ta bisakala da doide. Or Eva would like to come. Eva bisakala da doide. Then we would like to come. Nie bisakale da doideme. We have to change the verb. You would like to come as uh, for second person plural. Vie bisakale da doidete. And third person plural. Tie bisakale da doidat. Okay? Or as we already said, the students would like to come. Studentite bisakale da doidat. Very good. Okay, let's do one more example. I would like to see you. How can I say this in Macedonia? Already we know the part I would like. That was jas bisakal or jas bisakala. Then we need what? Da and we need the verb. The verb to see is gleda, the imperfective shape. And the perfective shape is vidi. So how... Uh, I'm going to use which one will I use here? Uh, well, I'm talking about one time. I would like to see you like today, tomorrow. Okay, we are like very certain about this. So we are trying to get a meeting to, to see each other. So uh, we are going to use the perfective shape of the verb vidi. So bisakala, yas bisakala da vidam means I would like to see. Bisakala da vidam. I would like to see. But I would like to see you. You here in this sentence is the direct object. Okay? So we need the direct object of the personal pronoun you, which in Macedonian is te. The short version is te. 
So we are going to say the whole sentence now. Yas, we can use it. Bisakala da te vidam. Bisakala da te vidam. I would like to see you. But if I was a male, I would have to use bisakal da te vidam. Okay? Very good. Well, for today's video, for today's lesson, for this year. And um, thank you for your watching and uh, for your comments and uh, for everything. Um, I would like to wish you a happy new year and happy holidays. In Masakala da vi posakam srekna nova godina i srekni praznici. Srekna nova godina, happy new year i srekni praznici and happy holidays. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Also, you can check the uh, profiles on Facebook, Instagram, TikTok. Uh, Twitter and uh, all the social media. See you in my next video. Uh, Vo novata godina. Ciao, ciao!